Now let's look at a bass line using upper leading tones. Those are leading tones that come from above the root, approach the root from above, and land on the root on the downbeat. I'll give you a taste of what that sounds like now. We've got two exercises here. The first one uses one upper leading tone. So if I play a B flat and I want to go to the E flat, the upper leading tone will be a half step above the E flat, the note E. That's the leading tone into E flat. Now I'm going to go back to B flat in the third bar from a half step above the note C flat, also called a B, into B flat. Now in bar five, we're going back to E flat, so I'll be above the note, a leading tone, a half step above E flat. That's the note E, I'm going into E flat, E, E flat. Now going back to B flat from the note C flat. Now we're going to the G7 chord, so we need to approach that from above by a half step. G7, half step above is A flat. Open G. Now here's a little tricky part. I'm in half, half position right now. I need to s switch to first position to play this next note, the note D flat. So I'm going to move my left hand up just slightly into first position and play this D flat with my fourth finger. Four, D flat into the note C, the root of the C minor chord. Now I'm going to stay in that position, play the G flat on the D string with four into the note F. Now the note C flat back to B flat. Now I'm with that move, I, sh I switched from first position back into half position. And then the last bar of the blues goes to F, low F. So in the last bar, I play G flat with two, F with one, and then I go back to the top, the B flat. Now the second chorus of this exercise, or example two on the page, uses two leading tones approaching from the top, two upper leading tones. It starts with the root B flat, and then I play the notes F, E, E flat, those are two leading tones from above the E flat. That's our target note. B flat, F, E, E flat. Back to B flat. C, C flat, B flat. C, C flat, B flat. F, E, E flat. F, E, E flat. C, C, C flat, B flat, A. Now I need to shift to get the A flat. I need to shift into first position. I played the A flat with four on the E string and the G with two on the E string. Now I'm going to use open D, D flat with four on the A string, C with two on the A string, open G. G flat on the D string, F with two on the D string. Now at this point, and you'll see the fingering notated on the paper, 
I'm playing an F with two, but I need to go back to the B flat. So I'm going to switch to the note C with my fourth finger in half position. So I'm on F with two. This is the third measure from the end of the page. F with two, four, two, one on the B flat. Going into the last measure, I have G with four, G flat with two, F with one, C, C flat, B flat. And then we're back at the repeat of the 12 bar blues. So those are the examples, one upper leading tone or two upper leading tones. Uh, you just need to be aware when you're shifting from half position into first position and back to half position. And then you'll nail all the notes.